Hey everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. I got huge breaking news from the Army and Sham Sankar himself. Remember all that mumbo jumbo about the Army's dissatisfaction with Palantir and the intellectual property concerns? And this was pointed out by Louis De Palma from William Blair and his analyst report. Well, the Army clarified with their own statements, and Shyam Sankar literally put him on blast, calling out the quotes in response to what he wrote. Now, you can go to the source itself from the Army's website, but Shyam Sankar tweeted out here exactly while tagging the Army that Louis got it wrong. So to clarify my remarks last week, our concern about data ownership slash rights is directed at the entire defense technology community regarding the Army's expectations of industry and will inform future data requirements across several programs, he said. To be clear, we're satisfied with the Army Vantage program, its IP contract language, its open data environment to facilitate Army collaboration, and its connections with third-party tools. So all of that stuff basically is negligible from earlier in the week in regards to that uncertainty around the Vantage program and confirmed from the client themselves, the Army, and Palantir's management. So earlier today, I also pointed out that Lisa Gordon's clarifying statements too regarding data ownership for government and commercial clients for Palantir, and I even gave some flexibility earlier in the week that maybe there was just some contracting language maybe but they even say that the contracting language is good for them as well as the whole data environment as well as its connections which we know Palantir is a good team player in being platform agnostic for its connections but I just wanted to put out a short and sweet video ASAP because the information floating around by William Blair needs to have the whole story together with it so I'm just doing my part to ensure this narrative gets the loop closed and out there and hope this brings some ease to some Palantir investors earlier in the week that could have gotten spooked by that analyst report so I apologize for spamming my third video today I don't usually do this but really thought this needed to be spread as soon as possible since some folks do not necessarily follow the X feeds. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.